work with a company, the first thing that we always do is we spend quite a bit of time to look at the company at present state. What is going on there? We try to check where we have possibilities to uh, improve the processes. Usually we find a lot of uh, areas where improvement is needed. Uh, sometimes the improvement is needed but not wanted. Sometimes uh, the improvement is wanted and sometimes also needed. And um, after we have this uh, rough picture of the company's performance in the beginning, and we find this by walking through the facility, by talking to the people who are in the work processes, uh, we go ahead and talk to the management. So we get the management together, all of the people who are involved with either the production or the administration. Due to that process, we also find the common denominator. What does the management want to improve? Where do they want to go? Is there a need to make more money out of the production? Sometimes it seems there is no need and everything is fine. But very often we find companies that really want to make more money out of the production and have a better quality of their production in the end. So then we sign a contract for the work that we do. The work that we do is and that is also quite unique for TELUS personnel training. Other companies don't do it like that. We find teams within the company. We believe in getting rid of the consultant as soon as possible because a consultant within the company, as a part of the company, is waste. A company should have all of the quality tools together and we believe in giving these quality tools to the company. So we choose a team. For each and every aspect of Lean, we find the right people. We have a certain frame of who these people should be. We seek uh, the assistance, of course, of group leaders and managers within the company. We find the team members, and then we take these team members together, usually from every production line or from every department of an administration, we try to get two trainers uh, that we are then putting through an educational process in lean education, in lean management. But we are not giving it to them as pure information for them. We are giving it to them so that they will be able to train their peers. And this is the most effectful and the most successful principle. By educating the people in the company by running everyone through this process once. The team is educated in about five to ten days depending on what kind of lean measures are taken and during this education, during this training, they are also trained on how to market lean and Kaizen and 5S and error proving and quick changeover, whatever the tools are that are chosen to reach the goal, how to transfer the knowledge of these tools to the workers in the company. So in the rollout process, we usually choose pilot areas where we begin the process, where everyone can see what is happening, how things are improving, how work gets easier, faster, and how quality improves. And everyone is coming also to view the area and see what is going on. It is like an effect that is already spreading out to others because word of mouth, the people are listening. There's something going on in our company that is new, that is bringing more efficiency and easier work with higher quality. After we have finished the education with the team, we are already beyond the pilot area. We have already taken other areas uh, into uh, account and have performed a training on the job for the people on the team. So by the time we leave for the first time, you have an educated, equipped team within your company that is able to handle these tools and roll out the measures to all of the facility, regardless if it is an administrative uh, part of the company or a production.